good morning. Here I am at Fab Wholesale in Exeter. Always love coming back here. It's a bit like coming home because uh, this is where I started my role as an educator, right here uh, a few years ago. Had my first ever class here. So today we're doing bespoke barbering, which is going to be a uh, a course for beginners, really. Uh, bespoke begin beginners, be uh, bespoke beginners barbering. That's a mouthful, that is. Um, so yeah, we're here today doing that. The idea is that we can solve a problem for the guys in the class. So um, I'm going to get the get what they want to learn off of them today. We're going to write it up on the on the board here on the flip chart and then we're going to work our way through those things so we can kind of make it like bespoke learning for each person in the class solving problems for them so they can go back into their their shops or salons or wherever they're from and hopefully they can then uh, implement those skills straight away and start turning that into revenue and more clients and hopefully you know um, improving their their barbering career so yeah I'm going to um, do a little update throughout the day maybe do a little bit of filming of the guys working this afternoon in the workshop so I managed to squeeze all my stuff onto these little uh, trolleys today using the Fresh Fade 1000, Fresh Fade 1040s and the Fresh Fade 1050s for the demos today I'm also got an Anders foil as we're waiting for JRL to bring out one which I know they're developing um, and then scissor wise I've got my Hunt and Hustle Ace of Spades and the players and then also uh, my Keto so the uh, demo part of the course is over, done. We uh, finished that up, we did a, a taper, classic taper really, um, a real classic sort of side pine. And then we did a fade, like a higher skin fade with like quite a heavy blend for the second one, but more of a crop kind of look. Um, we get the guys, I told you I get the guys to write down what they want to learn from the day. So we've got a few bits on here, um, which the guys wanted to do. Uh, so like confidence and I got them to, I gave them all two stars each at the end of the first model and said to them look if there's two things that you want to get uh, a bit more from for the second part of the second model uh, put your two stars up on there and the guys went with fades and uh, grading with clippers so I'm talking, I think that's more they want to talk about blending so that's what we did, we did like a high fade, quite a heavy blend talked them through using the half and the one and a half grades also it's something that a lot of these guys haven't got or haven't used before so that's interesting for them but I want to try and keep it as simple as possible at the same time but you know it's time for the workshop part so the guys are all set up they've got all their stuff out all over the room uh, they're all kitted up all over here and we're gonna run through the second part of the day after these guys will finish we've all got models which is good because a lot of the time people don't have models um, and I've got to talk a little bit about Lions Bible Collective at the end. Once the guys are finished, I also get them to present back their models, which I think is really important because it's one thing for me to teach them and show them, it's another thing for them to do it. But then, if they can then show me or show the rest of the class what they've done, I feel that it kind of sinks in with them a little bit more. Anyway, it's on time for the workshop. I'm going to eat a couple of sandwiches and, uh, and some fruit, and then uh, we're going to crack on. Here I am, driving home, just listening to a uh, book called Fearless Facilitation about uh, you know, basically facilitating and it's stuff I do with when I'm, when I'm teaching to try and get a few more uh, hints on growing that ability and that skill of, uh, for when I'm, when I'm teaching at, um, any education that I do. Uh, but yeah, stuck in a load of traffic, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a, uh, uh, a, little bit of a recap on what we did today. We had a amazing day with some really good guys. They were all at a very similar level, so they were all beginning um, their journey in barbering. Um, but I, I sometimes find that those guys take on stuff a little bit better because they don't have any sort of, they don't have any other knowledge. They don't have any other ways of doing anything or any bad habits because they are literally taking everything in and they just use the step by step that I've, I've sort of given them rather than trying to uh, add bits into stuff that they already do. 
So there are a couple of guys in there. One of the girls had actually uh, never really done any formal education at all. Just done a little bit of hair uh, haircutting at home for friends and family. So she was actually one of the best and finished her model quicker than anybody else. I'm not saying that's the best way of doing things quicker, but she finished her model quickly and did a fantastic job at it. It was one of the best in the class, but they were all a really good standard. I mean, some of the guys in there, for where they were that way is, um, and some of the guys in there, I had to talk to the girls about how to actually hold the scissors. So. It was really taking things back to the basics. It was bespoke beginners barbering. And um, I'm going to be doing that course again later on in the year in Exeter and Fab. And like I've said a million times, Fab is like my home. Uh, it's always like going home when I'm there. That's one of my favorite places to do education uh, because I love the team there. And Grant gave me my first ever opportunity to get into uh, education. So I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity and uh, always love going back there so there's a few more courses coming up there if you are in the southwest area check out fab wholesale in exeter they have a website which is if you google fab phab wholesale you will find their website and you can book and look at other courses there they do all sorts of stuff as well as um, as well as supply um, a lot of great products so take a look at their website I'll be there again a couple of times this year. I'm going to be looking at doing some sort of special show as well coming up. Um, but yeah, have a little look at that. But for now, that's me signing out. I'm all done for the day, just heading home. Also, guys, don't forget, hit subscribe button and you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. So I literally just got back from uh, being at a fab all day. I did a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a conclusion in the car whilst I was stuck in traffic, but I've been, um, since then I've been on the phone, uh, did a radio interview with the guys out in America um, for when I go to Hawaii and go to Maui uh, next month. <clears throat> so I did a radio interview on Loudmouth Radio, which is their radio station out in the States, uh, which actually comes from, uh, based in Maui in Hawaii. So that was really cool being on their thing. Um, it's always a pleasure to go on any sort of radio show, especially with the guys like Jazzy and Sonny <coughs> from Loudmouth. They're amazing guys. They're the guys that are putting on the uh, Paradise Beauty and Hair Show, Beauty and Barber Show in Maui in Hawaii. So amazing guys, really inspirational. They do so much work for, um, for the community. They're just unbelievable. But yeah, so I'm just going to sign out now. That's me done for the day. I've got some meetings tomorrow with uh, the local council regarding the Lions Bible Collective and all the stuff that we do with them. Uh, suicide prevention and men's mental well-being. So that should be interesting. Looking forward to that. Um, and just got to um, try and move things forward with the charity too. Now we've got a charity number. So that's me signing out. Um, keep posted. Hit subscribe so you don't miss my next vlog. And uh, we should be doing some fun stuff in the coming months.